buying a multiplex versus a single family home to start renting out property, single mom saving for an investment. I prefer single family homes, but that's a personal preference. One of the things that I like to say about investing in real estate is there are just as many different ways to make money investing in real estate as there are uh, people investing in real estate. So there's no right or wrong. There is no you know, one way that from a long-term perspective is going to make you more than another. I think so long as you're not negligent and you're investing in real estate, you know, the return on investment is going to be the return on investment. You're always going to have your appreciation. If you're using leverage, you're always going to have the principal pay down. And if you uh, analyze properties for cash flow on the front end, then you're always going to have that cash flow. And you're also going to always have those tax benefits. So uh, what type of real estate you invest in, I think matters very little. I would say what matters more than the type of real estate investment are the problems that you are interested in having. Because at the end of the day, uh, your return on investment is going to be your return on investment. You're going to be able to calculate it. Uh, if you're making 20% in a multifamily and you're making 20% a year on a single family, then you know, you're know you doing a fantastic job. And what becomes more important is the lifestyle or the problems that you have to deal with on a daily basis. Um, and those are what I think to be the real deciding factor in what type of real estate investing you get involved in. So I would say if you don't mind some like, uh, you know, interpersonal drama type stuff, if you don't mind taking complaints about somebody walking too loudly uh, in the middle of the night, then multifamily might not be a, a bad idea. If you don't mind paying utilities, you know, multifamily might not be a bad idea. Now I'm saying all of this from somebody that just does not like multifamily. So I'm a little bit jaded. I'm sure you can come up with uh, things that are equally frustrating on single family homes, but they generally lend themselves to have more types of problems than I'm the, the, the one that I'm willing to deal with. So I would, if I were you, and I was trying to figure out what type of real estate I wanted to get involved in, I would go out and meet some local real estate investors. And I would purposefully try to find a handful that only invest in single families. I would try to find a handful in ones that only invest in multifamilies. And then hopefully there's some that have a mixture of the two. I would also try to find, you know, some of the alternative, the ones that aren't necessarily residential, like some self self storage unit people, uh, maybe some like senior living, some group home style investment strategies. I think all of them uh, you should explore, especially while you don't yet have uh, any investments of your own. You're going to be able to kind of learn a little bit from a lot of people, figure out what their biggest struggles are. And then do kind of some sort of self-assessment and figure out if the type of struggles that they're having are ones that you're willing to have. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.